Aslan Arujana and Ritzu and Rahman, both 27, are accused of torturing and killing their son at the Singapore home three years ago. The five-year-old was kept in the cat cage and tortured with heated spoons and pliers for months before his death was caused by blows to the head and a deluge of boiling water poured over his face, back and calves. The lacerations on the boy's body would most likely have been the result of him being kept in confined space and thrashing about as his punishment was meted out for back chatting. His mother told the police three days after his death she did not intend to kill her son, saying, How am I able to kill a child? Just look at my small body. In another statement she said, I do not have the intention to pour the hot water on him if he didn't show any attitude towards me. She claimed she only wanted him to learn his lesson when she disciplined her son and added, if I had the intention of killing him, I would have killed my other children as well. But all my other children are safe and I do not beat them. As a mother, I would not have the heart to kill my own child. The pet cage measures less than three feet long, under two feet wide and just over two feet tall. Lacerations and abrasions were caused by the metallic bars while moving around in the confined space of the family's cat cage, as well as cuts on his body, including injuries to his face and scalp. He had a broken nose and bruising on his limbs, and his lips and gums were torn, which could only be caused by some considerable force, like a punch or a fall. Among the list of other horrific injuries include second to third degree burns, which covered 75% of the boy's body, acute kidney injuries, dehydration, and isolated speech delay. In August 2016, the boy knocked over a biscuit tin and Aslan beat him so hard that his stomach was covered in marks. He also began to hobble due to a misaligned kneecap. The boy's father placed a scorching metal spoon on his palm when the child stole milk powder to eat. His parents allegedly scalded the boy on at least four separate occasions before his death and would be hit with fists or a broom for the slightest infraction. On one occasion the boy yelled, Are you crazy or what? which angered his parents into dousing him with more steaming liquid. His mother wanted to bathe him, but the child refused. He was disciplined by having a flood of hot water poured over his calf and back. The boy then toppled forward and stopped moving. Rather than immediately seeking medical help, the parents waited for six hours to take the boy to hospital. On the day of his death, on the 22nd of October 2016, the boy was allegedly confined to a cat cage. After the hospital informed the police, the parents were arrested over the following days. A foster family had taken the boy in shortly after his birth in 2011, but he had later returned to his biological parents in 2015. It's reported that the abuse began one year later, when the parents started to psychologically torment the deceased in various ways. Police examined the mental health of the parents while they were in custody, but found no evidence to suggest that they were unsound of mind during the murder. They both deny killing him, and if convicted, they'll be executed at the gallows in Chengi Prison in Singapore.